Welcome to Stuff Lab, I'm Gwen. And I'm Marty. And today, we're doing another fact video. It's also Dorian's birthday. It's also Dorian's birthday, he's nine. He's so old, he's 52 in human years. And he's high as hell right now. Yeah, because we got him a birthday present of, well, Marty got him a birthday present <laughs> of catnip in the shape of a trout that you can turn on and it flops around. And I didn't know that came with more catnip. And now he got into the catnip bag because I didn't see it fall out. And he's all kinds of jazzercised. You know what else is jazzercised? What? The animal we're doing. Do you oh, know yeah. what it is? No, what do we got today? It is the kudu. The what? The kudu. Kudu? Kudu, K-U-D-U. Oh. It's the kudu. Looks like a stripey antelope. Uh, it is a member of the antelope family. Okay. There are two types of kudu, the lesser and the greater. Mm -hmm. We're doing the greater kudu. Is it greater because it has stripes and swirly horns? Like this just looks like a party antelope. Uh, it's totally a party antelope. <laughs> Look, he's even got his buddies on him. He's going to a party across the road right now. Uh, so do you want to take a guess on where they live? Africa? They do live in Africa. Oh my God. The greater kudu mm -hmm. extend from the east in Ethiopia, Tanzania, Eritrea and Kenya to the south where they're found in Zimbabwe, Angola, Namibia, Matswana, Zimbabwe, and South Africa. Other regions are Central African Republic, Chad, Dem uh, Democratic I Republic I of thought, Congo. I thought you were going to say Jumanji. Djibouti. <laughs> I'm, sure I'm sure they live in Jumanji, 100%. Oh, uh, Malwani, Mozambique, Somalia, Swaziland, and Uganda. So basically everywhere. As far as I can tell, it's uh, Eastern Africa. Okay. They've been introduced in small numbers to New Mexico, but were never released into the wild. Hmm. They got big ears. They do have big ears. Uh, the population is- can, can I just point, look, that bird is looking up at the Zulu. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's up, man? What's up, do you hear everything? <laughs> Their population is sparse throughout each region, although they're heavy in total population but they have loss of habitat due to poaching, mm. or they're low in numbers in each region due to poaching and loss of habitat, but they're high in total numbers. I don't like poachers. So it's just little pockets of them. But a lot of little pockets. Yes. Uh, they're a woodland antelope. Okay. They're one of the largest mammals, and they prefer to live in settled areas, so where people are. Mm -hmm. They do not have territories, but home ranges instead. Okay. The name of kudu comes from the twisty horns and deer-like appearance. So, do you want to guess what the uh, what the size is? Hmm. They look beefier than an antelope, so I'll say between a horse and an antelope. It's gonna be like poundage. Oh God, I don't. Poundage I... and height to shoulder. <sighs> I'm really bad at this kind of stuff. Uh, uh two eighty. Uh, are you doing male or female? Oh God, I don't know. Uh, male. No. Bigger? Yes. 450. Bulls coming in between 420 to 600 pounds. Oh. Females coming in 260 to 460. Guess how tall the bulls are at the shoulder. Oh God, okay, as well, if they weigh that much, seven, no, six and a half of the shoulder. 63 inches tall at the shoulder. I am 62 inches tall. I am five foot two. 62 inches tall. They are an inch taller than me at the shoulder. So if they're that big, like why haven't they become something that like people domesticate and ride? Uh, I don't know. I think it's just difficult to domesticate. I'm not oh. sure. So one of their main predators is lions. The other one is crocodiles, though it's very seldom that either one can take one down because of their size. Oh yeah, they, they, that's huge. Yeah, they're huge. Yeah. Huh. I thought it'd be on scale with like a deer. But no, that's not. So like the large big. The largest white tail deer mm -hmm. on record comes in about 500 pounds. That's a hundred pounds less <laughs> than these are. On average. On average. <laughs> oh my god. On average, okay. the largest white tail deer is the midline of these. Okay. Insane. Insane. So they're horns, okay? See mm -hmm. their little horns there? Mm-hmm. So after two years, they'll have one full spiral in their horns. Okay. And then they'll get two full spirals. It's seldom that they get three full spirals. And if you stretch it out, 
How long do you think their horns are after two spirals? Uh, three feet? No. Shorter? Longer. Lo well, that's why we can't domesticate these things. They just step with their horns. Six feet. If you stretch out their horns, they're six feet long without spirals. <laughs> right? Okay. Huh. These guys are... They're why beefy. Did, why did I never learn about these in high school? Like, it was always like, oh, antelopes are like the main guys out in... Africa. I'd way rather, these guys are way cooler. They're way cooler, but they're, they're less of them. I guess. So they're active during the day. They usually seek shelter and cover. There's one with two spirals. Seek cover during the well, height of heat. They eat leaves, grass, shoots, and occasionally tubers, roots, and fruit. They are especially fond of oranges and tangerines hmm. in captivity. Okay. So they like them. They eat and drink early in the morning to late afternoon because they do seek shelter during the height of heat during the day because mm -hmm. it gets real hot. Oh yeah. Predators, lions, spotted hyenas, and African hunting dogs. Cheetahs and leopards, they also prey on them, but they cannot bring down a bull because they're so massive. So they usually pr prey on the females and the kids. Okay. How long do you think they live in the wild? It seems to be like everything in the wild in Africa is like 15 years, 15, 15 to 20 years on average. Nope, seven to eight years. Oh, wow. How about These captivity? Are... I'll, I'll go 15 to 20 on that one. 23 years in okay. captivity. Mating season is at the end of the rainy season, which is variable. And males have a courtship ritual of standing in front of the females and engaging in a neck wrestle. And then they just follow the female around, giving low pitch calls until she gives up and goes, fine. Oh, so how I got you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just wear them down. Uh, one calf is typical. Up to two calves can be born at a time. Okay. Uh, they hide the kids in the brush for four to five weeks. And then the female brings them out into the world. And after three to four months, they'll start going into all the places with her. They won't stay hidden in the brush. Okay. At six months, they're independent of mom. Oh, huh, sweet. Yeah. So now that you learned about the kudu, what do you think? I think the kudus are awesome. I think uh, teachers, teach about the kudu, not antelopes. Antelopes are boring. All they, they have to do is get eaten. They're part of the antelope family. They're just beefier than the typical antelope. Let's talk about the cool antelopes then. I didn't know those things existed, and I'm glad that I know that now. Dope. Dope. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on Stuff Lab, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.